What's up, ladies and gents? I'm your host, Sinister Channel One, and welcome to some more coverage of Tom Clancy's The Division Beta. What we're going to be doing now is we're going to be playing some 4K gameplay. So I'm going to be trying different settings to show you guys uh, what this game can be accomplished with using a GTX 980 Ti. So we're going to go into the options here to show you guys that I am running this. The same graphical settings that I had on during the live stream, except it is in 4K. Graphics are all set up to the max custom settings, uh, the highest that all of the sliders will be able to go. Um, sharpen image just a little bit. You don't need to have too much. Now, we are going to be probably downgrading a little bit throughout the video to show how uh, the frames per second will be running uh, on you know this video or not. I do have a, uh, in the top left corner, there is a, a, a little emblem for me from you play that says whether or not uh, what's my frames per second now remember you guys can only uh, for YouTube see 30 frames a second so uh, that's probably we're probably not even gonna get that depending on what this uh, 980 Ti can do I haven't really tested it out yet this will be the first time so I'm really looking forward to getting into this so we're gonna go ahead and continue the game that we've uh, been playing and uh, of course uh, for more content all that kind of stuff don't forget to subscribe make sure you leave a like on the videos and let me know what how uh, how you think the game looks in 4k and if it does uh, make a difference for you whether or not uh, to, to buy it say for PC or for console maybe it's not really something for you but uh, with that uh, being said it's go time all right ladies and gents here we go I would just want you to know that the loading screen before this was running at a smooth 60 frames per second and I'm really impressed with that I'm just kidding as a little joke but here we are we are running right now uh, if you cannot see at 24 to 25 frames per second and all we are is <laughs> is in one little room and this is with a GTX 980 Ti so we are gonna go into the dark zone because you guys love to see dark zone dark zone ish kind of gameplay Biohazard warning. Entering. transmissions jammed Proximity coverage only. Backup activated. System rebooted. So we are running a smooth. Warning. I wouldn't now say smooth. Dog but, zone. Um, it's pretty much stuck on 24. It's uh, moving down to 22 a little bit, but 24 seems to be uh, what this is running on. Now this is everything set up to the 100% max that it can, except for uh, sharpness. And if you go too much sharpness, it, it doesn't look good. So I don't recommend it. But. Uh, yeah, so here it is. As you can see, still playable, although 24 frames a second is definitely not something that you want on a PC game because this is the PC race and you want it, obviously, you want it to be uh, the best that you can get. Now, we haven't got into like a, a fight or anything like that yet, so it'll be interesting to see uh, how getting into conflict and, and, uh, changing things here, how low the frames per second will go. We know that there's an someone someone called in an extraction, but I can't see where the guy went. He's hiding. There he is. He's right there. Hey there, buddy. Hey. What's up? So you can look at the. Definitely looks even better than it did yesterday, and that was uh, in 1080. Enemies coming in. Chopper is inbound. Commencing extraction. Extraction of cargo now in progress. All right, looks like we got some rogues. Ready to bring it on board. We're running away. Pickup secure. <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh, you gotta love this game. Alright, so you see it at 24 frames a second right now. So we're gonna take some stuff down and see if we can get something a little bit more smoother. So we will go into our settings here. First thing I want to try. Let's see, we got post FXAA, sharpen image is. What do I. Who are you talking to? I'm sorry, I'm making a, a video for YouTube in 4K, guys, so I, I didn't know you guys could even hear me. We're not part of a team. Uh, let's see. Yeah, no, uh, push to talk is off by default. Ah, okay. Uh, reflection quality, so we took that down. Partial detail. Let's take down the sharpen image to about 50. And let's take off super sampling. Alright. We have one up. Well, no, it's actually about the same. See how this is not unplayable. One thing I wish we could do is the I mean, it, it bends in, but it doesn't break. Unless it's already broke. But uh, it's still running pretty much the same. Let's see what else we can do. Obviously, you have to restart the game in order to really have all of that. Let's just run this on Ultra and see what that does. That takes that, super sampling, 50%, Ultra, Ultra, medium. Reflection quality is medium. Let's see, let's see what that does. All right, so that got us to 30. And you can see how much uh, smoother this is in 4K. Everything seems to be running a lot smoother. Yeah. Let's see what we got over here. Warning. You are now entering a contaminated area. Exiting the contaminated area. Require certain Dark Zero rank to be opened. Ah. So you can't open that until you have a better rank. Rank 10, man. Let's see what else we can get ourselves into I'm here. I have no keys. We're gonna head to this, uh, whatever this emblem is over here. Oh, we got some, uh, rogues over here. I'll take a shot at them, man. Headshot bonus because I have a uh, plate carrier with it, so <laughs> what an idiot. Warning. You've disavowed a division. This action will mark you as rogue. I don't know why it said I gone rogue. This guy was already rogue that I was killing. But now it says I've gone rogue. That's so weird. His rogue stats literally wore off like two seconds before he killed him. Oh, wow. It actually, the rogue status 
it goes away? Yeah, it wears off. That's so weird. It's hilarious. So you can see the kind of gameplay you get yourself into here by just doing this over and over again. And then I'm dead. That's what happens. I didn't know he was going to go rogue. Like, it's just kind of bad luck. But, uh, yeah, so, um, obviously, taking down the settings a little bit makes the game a lot smoother. So, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed a little 4K gameplay for uh, The Division. Um, I'm probably going to end up playing this in 4K. Again, YouTube can't accept more than 30 frames a second, so it really, as long as I'm getting 30, which I'm getting right around 30 right now, so it's a, it's a smoother experience um, for everyone watching and stuff, so I'm impressed with it. Obviously, this is uh, a beast of a game on PC. It requires you to have a really, really good rig in order to be able to run probably even 60. Let's say, since we're doing 28 right now, let's just do a hypothetical if we even took it down to high there we go kind of froze the game a little bit there what are you waiting for all right let's see what we're running now with everything set to high Game still looks amazing. And we're running over 30 frames a second. Alright, so there's a little bit of 4K gameplay for you guys for The Division. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I know this game isn't going to be for everybody, but for me it is. It is a tactical RPG slash shooter. And I love those type of games that make you think that you don't just run out there and start shooting. You actually have to plan a strategy in order to uh, make the most of it. And a lot of people don't have patience for that, which I'm someone that, that does because that's my favorite type of game. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for all the love and support you do. And of course, I will see you next time. Peace out. Bitches.